do injectables or when we do feds basically we target this layer the deep dermis or the subcutaneous layer when we put the threads to lift the face yeah. we always try to you know latch the ligaments and this tissue okay and then we have the another uh, filler types some filler they are bone mimicking fillers so we put in the just over the periosteum some we prefer to put very deep because depending on the their rheology and the gene prime of the product okay then if the more finer the filler more thin is the filler more superficial it will be simple uh, thumb rule okay like low viscosity mid viscosity and high viscosity low viscosity then mid viscosity mid j prime medium and high viscosity very thick thick look so we prefer to inject in this particular layer and when we put shoot the threads also we try to go in this layer or a deep dermis okay then the thickness of a subcutaneous tissue varies according to the age and the sex of the patient it varies actually patient to patient okay it basically is responsible for giving a contour to the face now you can correlate that some fillers why we put in this particular layer to give a contour to the face right if we want to give contour to the face so obviously we are just injecting in this layer because this layer. this particular layer is responsible for the contour of the face okay and it helps for a heat insulation protect us from our vital uh, tissues from heat and cold it acts like a shock absorber basically for the lower yeah this subcutaneous layer it's a energy insulator okay then the network of lymphatics and arteries are there okay which helps to fight with the antibodies and the infection and everything okay produces antibodies and help to fight with the infections so this is about the subcutaneous layer then how skin is narrated the way we breathe skin also be exhale and inhale right then it also uh, lymphatic system is there which if any infection is there so it clears out okay then we have the certain blood vessels uh, which helps to keep the tissue alive if the blood is being you know like uh, compromised or occluded any vessel so what will happen the tissue death is there necrosis will be there right so this is the way skin is nourished okay so this is the skin and now we will talk about the anatomical part okay 